the video. This will be another uh, My Story Animated Reaction. This one definitely looks like it's going to be a villain of the story type deal. Um, so, and I'm curious what this story is about considering the title of this video too. When revenge gets out of hand, he's plot twist. So, plot twists are good too. So, anyway, so to get into this reaction. Hi, I'm Aphrodite, and my face almost ruined my life. But before I tell you my story, please like and subscribe. My parents named me after the Greek goddess of beauty because my emerald eyes and wavy golden hair got so much attention. Wow, that baby's gorgeous. When I was seven, me and my parents were out for a walk when this movie producer stopped his car in the middle of the street, jumped out, and ran up to us. Your daughter's a vision. I've never seen anyone so beautiful. She's perfect for my movie. My parents were all too eager to sign me up, and we started filming the next day. But I'd always been shy and quiet, and before shooting started, I hid in my trailer. I'm scared, Mommy. You can do this, honey. We believe in you. The movie ended up being a hit. After that, I landed a dozen more movie roles and a modeling contract. The money was rolling in. We moved into a huge mansion near the beach. My parents quit their jobs to manage me full time, and they hired a tutor so I could be homeschooled. Life was a beautiful dream come true. That is, until the day after my 10th birthday, when mom caught dad kissing our maid. Mom threw dad out of the house, burned all his clothes, and used a picture of his face as a dartboard. They went through an ugly divorce, and the ultimate prize was me. Mom fought dad for custody and won. Then dad moved away. It broke my heart to see him go. Life wasn't easy with mom. She grew obsessed with money. She booked me for every job just to get a paycheck, and it got really exhausting. Get up, honey. No time for sleep. You're filming a movie in Timbuktu. Plus, you're the face of this new clothing line, this orange lipstick, and these magic beans. When I was 15, mom set up a huge deal for me to star in a movie about a high school girl. But when I had a meeting with the director, he tossed me a script, asked me to read a few lines, then he told me that I was absolutely terrible. He ripped up the deal and threw us out. Mom was livid, and I was sad I'd let her down. I'm sorry, Mom. I tried my best. Mom refused to take no for an answer and convinced the director to give me another chance. The deal is still on the table. I convinced the director to let you audition again in three months. I've enrolled you in a local high school so you can get some practice being a high school girl. But I am a high school girl. You know what I mean. It's research for the part. You start tomorrow. Mom skipped out of the room and shut the door. My mind raced. I'd been homeschooled for most of my life. I'd never been around kids my age. What if they didn't like me? What if I didn't fit in? I spent hours tossing and turning that night, unable to sleep. The next morning, as we drove to school, I begged Mom to reconsider. But of course, she didn't. Instead, she shoved me out of the car, waved goodbye, and sped away. The moment I stepped on campus, I noticed kids whispering and pointing at me. It didn't help that there was a huge billboard with my face on a stupid can of magic beans across the street. I tried to talk to a few kids, but the girls gave me dirty looks, and the boys were weird. Half of them stared at me and drooled, while the other half, well, you're hot. Wanna be my girl? I lost my phone number. Can I have yours? Then this crazy girl ran up to me. It's you. I can't believe it. I'm Leah, your biggest fan. You're even prettier in person. Can we be friends? Please, please, please? I didn't know what to say. Leah kept staring at me as she waited for an answer. I guess. Leah gave me a tour of the school. She spilled all the tea about my teachers and my classmates. She protected me from the mean girls and the creepy boys. Out of the way, precious cargo coming through. What are you staring at, jerk? Soon, Leah and I were the best of friends. <laughs> One time, Leah took me to this cool cafe across town, and this gorgeous boy named Tyler stepped on stage with a guitar. He started singing, and the crowd went silent. He had the most beautiful voice I'd ever heard. As he was singing, I swear he was looking right at me. My heart melted. I'd never felt this way about a boy. He stepped off stage and walked right up to me and handed me his number. 
We talked for hours. He took me to the beach the next day. Tyler and I had so much in common. He'd spent his childhood traveling from city to city trying to make it as a singer. And his mom was as pushy as mine. Sometimes, all this pressure is so overwhelming. I just want to crawl into a hole. I totally get it. <sighs> Jeez, I feel silly complaining so much. I'm sure you've cut it ten times worse. I'm not half as talented as you. Then Tyler looked up at me with his sparkling hazel eyes and strummed a few chords on his guitar. Want to hear a secret? Sure. I wrote a song for you. Tyler started singing. The song was so beautiful, it brought tears to my eyes. That was amazing. Not as amazing as you. Tyler pulled me into his arms and kissed me. Not just any kiss. An earth-shattering, mind-blowing, once-in-a-lifetime, straight-out-of-a-romantic movie kiss. And at that moment, I fell in love. Soon, Tyler and I were a couple, and we spent all of our time together. Tyler swore I was his muse. He wrote a bunch of songs about me, posted them online, and they went viral. Overnight, Tyler became a huge sensation. A few weeks later, the director of my movie called me back in to redo my audition. Tyler came to support me. The director took one look at Tyler and invited him to audition too. Then something unexpected happened. The director was so impressed with both of our auditions that he cast us for two lead roles. Leah was so excited, she threw me a party at her house to celebrate. And she invited a bunch of nerdy kids from school. Since I'm your number one fan, I've assembled your ultimate fan club. You smell like sunshine. Then Tyler walked in, looking as gorgeous as ever. Wow, Tyler, you're hot, and your skin is as smooth as a red-eyed tree frog. Want to take a selfie? Leah pulled out her cell phone and ran up to Tyler. But Tyler sidestepped her, and she fell on her face. Hard pass. Tyler pulled me to the side. Let's get out of here. These nerds give me the creeps. And can you believe that freak Leah? Leah's not a freak. She's my friend. Whatever. I can't take a picture with her. It would ruin my image. I'm out. I'm going home to take a shower. Then Tyler left. I was so upset. I couldn't believe he was being so rude. That night, he apologized for being mean to Leah and promised he'd never do it again. But a couple of weeks later, everything changed. Tyler grew distant. He spent all his time posting videos for his fans online, and he stopped answering my calls and texts. I knew he was busy managing his newfound fame, but I still wanted to be supportive. One night, I invited him to my house to rehearse our lines for the movie, and I even made his favorite lemon meringue pie, but he didn't show up. I went online and saw that he just posted a video of himself practicing his guitar in his room. I went to his house. His front door was open, so I walked upstairs, but when I stepped into his room, what I saw turned my world upside down. Tyler was kissing some random girl. Babe, what's your ex doing here? Tyler turned to me with this dumb look on his face. Oh man, you didn't get my text? What text? Fine, I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. It's not me, it's you. But no, it's not you, it's me. <sighs> Whatever. I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I went bonkers. I smashed the pie in Tyler's stupid face and punched him in the nose. Tyler's girlfriend started screaming like a banshee. Tyler's parents rushed in and broke up the fight. After that, Tyler and his new girlfriend spread rumors that I was unstable and all of Tyler's fans turned against me. Then, the director of our movie called me and gave me the most horrible news. We've decided to take the story in another direction, so you're fired. Have a nice day. I begged him to reconsider, but he hung up in my face. I was devastated. Mom rushed to my side. She'd heard the whole conversation. It's okay. I can fix this. I'll just get you another movie. Mom hopped on the phone to try to get me a new job, but no one would take her calls. She tried bribing a casting director and called in a dozen favors, but no one was interested in hiring me. Then, when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I found out that Tyler's new girlfriend was cast in my role. When Tyler and his dumb girlfriend's movie came out, it was a hit. So, I'm just going to say this here. I thought the mom was the villain of the story at the start, but I'm starting to think it's this Tyler guy now. Um, 
Sometimes it's the boyfriend, you know? Or in this case, ex-boyfriend now. But, yeah. Because what's happening to Aphrodite is the name? It's, it's a pretty complex name. Um, it's because of this Tyler guy. Uh, and this is what happened when you let fame get into your head. If I ever get famous like this, I will not act like a snob, a rich snob. Probably going to be one of the most generous people on the planet if I ever come into a lot of money. When I say a lot of money, I'm talking like eight, nine figure amount. So. Every time I turned on the TV or walked outside, I saw their faces on billboards, benches, and posters. And I swear I could hear them laughing at me as I passed. I grew angrier by the day, and I couldn't hold it inside. I started screaming and cursing in the street. Tyler broke my heart and ruined my life. So I vowed to get back at him. I started trolling Tyler online and left comments on all his posts saying that he was a stupid, mean jerk. He blocked me, and then my account was suspended. But I wouldn't give up. So I recruited Leah to help me stake out his house and get some dirt. We painted our faces green and hid in the bushes outside Tyler's house. After a few hours, Leah started to complain. Uh, bestie, can we go? I think a mosquito bit my butt and these ants are crawling up my leg. No, we're on a mission. We can't back out now. Tyler is the enemy. He's evil. He must be destroyed. The next day, Leah and my fan club ambushed me in front of my house. We are worried about you. You're obsessed with Tyler, and it's making you crazy. You have to move on and let it go. I burst out laughing. <laughs> I'll never stop. If you're not with me, you're against me. I grabbed a water hose and sprayed Leah and the rest of the nerds in the face. They ran, running and screaming for their lives. Leah slipped and fell into a puddle. I'm melting. I'm melting. Oh, what a world. What a world. I scoured the internet to find anything I could about Tyler. I learned that he'd be at an exclusive party in town. I couldn't get an invite, so I did some digging and found out the host of the party had a son that went to my school. With over 200 flavor notes, every sip of Woodford Reserve... went to my school. The boy's name was Isaac, and he was in my math class, and I knew he had a crush on me. So, I pretended to like him and asked him to take me to the party. I don't know. Parties aren't really my thing. But we'd have so much fun. I held his hand and gave him a kiss on the cheek, and he turned as red as a chili pepper. If you really want to go, I guess I could get us some tickets. Isaac picked me up for the party, and to my surprise... He looked really handsome, like he'd walked off the cover of a fashion magazine. On the way to the party, I learned so much about Isaac. He was a talented artist, and he drew the most amazing sketches. He was smart and funny, and he made me laugh. For the first time in a while, I didn't think about Tyler and how he hurt me. I felt like a weight had been lifted, but all that came crashing down when we ran into Tyler in the parking lot. Tyler stepped out of a gold-plated Porsche with his <gasps> girlfriend on his arm. Hey, Aphrodite, what are you doing here? This party is for A-listers, not washed-up losers. <laughs> Tyler smirked at me, and his girlfriend giggled. I saw red. I lunged at Tyler, but Isaac stepped between us. You've got some nerve calling her a loser. She's got way more talent than you ever will. Oh, how cute. The geeks defending the loser. Together, you're a lame sandwich. Tyler and his girlfriend laughed at me and Isaac, then walked away. I felt so helpless and angry. I wanted to cry. Then I spotted a bat in the back seat of Isaac's car. I grabbed the bat and darted toward Tyler's Porsche. Aphrodite, don't. I ignored Isaac. I smashed Tyler's windshield and broke his taillight. The car alarm wailed. Tyler ran outside, saw the damage, and cried like a baby. Then the police came and hauled me off to jail. Mom bailed me out, paid for the damages to Tyler's car, and convinced him to drop the charges. She was so disappointed in me. Tyler and his girlfriend were all over the news telling everyone I was crazy. I hid in my room and refused to come out for weeks. Until one day, there was a knock on my door. It was Leah and Isaac. Bestie, you've 
gotta get out of bed. Your fan club is worried about you. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. But Leah and Isaac didn't listen. They camped out in my room. They brought me my favorite foods, and we watched funny MSA videos for hours. Eventually, <laughs> I started to feel better. Tyler's a jerk. Huh? What he did to you was wrong. But you can't let it change who you are. Isaac's words hit a nerve. He was right. I'd worked for years to develop my career. I couldn't let it all go down the drain. But there's nothing I can do. Everyone hates me. You've still got us. And your talent. Isaac handed me a flyer for a summer Shakespeare festival. The winner gets an audition with a huge Hollywood producer. This is your chance to get back on top. I was reluctant at first, but with Isaac and Leah's encouragement, I entered the contest. Though my mom wasn't too happy about it. You're wasting your time. There's no money in plays. That's your problem. It's always about money for you. You pressured me to take stupid jobs and bribed people to give me dumb roles. You took all my joy out of acting. And now, I'm getting it back. Mom gave me the strangest look. Then, she wiped a tear from her eyes. Bravo! I've never seen you have so much passion. You could be a star on the stage or on the screen. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't know I was hurting you. That ends today. Mom promised to have my back, and I felt more confident than ever. On the night of the festival, I poured... This is why the mom's not the villain in this episode. That's why I didn't even consider her being the villain in this episode. Yes, she wasn't making the best choices, but doesn't make her a villain. Well, it's Tyler that's a villain of this episode. That's clear. All the pain and hurt that Tyler caused into my performance. When I was finished, the crowd cheered and gave me a standing ovation. Of all my years as an actor, I'd never felt such a rush. When they announced the winners, I got second place. I was bummed at first, but it didn't matter. In my mind, I'd won the most important prize. I'd proven to myself that my career wasn't over. You were awesome! No, you were perfect. Isaac gave me a huge bouquet of flowers, and then he hugged me tight. A year later, Tyler and his girlfriend got cast in another movie, and it was a total flop. It lost the production company millions. By then, they were total divas, so they fired their agents and managers, and no one wanted to work with them again. I continued doing plays for the rest of high school and through college, and eventually became a leading lady on Broadway. I hired Leah as my publicist. Duh, I'm her number one fan. And Isaac stole my heart. That was a good story and a good ending, too. I mean, uh, Aphrodite got, uh, found someone that she can connect with romantically, and then, of course, the best friend, Leah. Even though, uh, Aphrodite sprayed a hose at her, um, Leah didn't give up on her. Most people would, but Leah was literally there for, uh, Aphrodite no matter what. So, um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one.